Hello everybody, my name is Kat Bowser. I am your resident fantasy therapist and welcome back to my channel. Those of you who are brand new, um, welcome. Those of you who are coming back, thank you. Um, I'm sure you all have noticed, those of you that have come to my channel for a little bit, this is not my usual backdrop and that's because I am doing this week's video in my kitchen. <laughs> um, my usual uh, recording studio is also my bedroom. And right now my husband is using the bedroom. Um, and I'd also like to explain, I have been a little off schedule as of late. Um, my husband, a couple of weeks ago, found out he needed to have surgery. So it has been done and he is recovering just fine. Um, but that is why I've been kind of hit and miss as of late. But I'm hoping as of this week, we can get right back on schedule. So those of you who um, have not been here before, my name is Kat Bowser. I am a licensed therapist, but I'm also an author working on my first novel. So on my channel, I like to talk about all things writing, fantasy, world building, with an emphasis on the psychology behind it, because as a therapist, I can't not use the psychology. It has been too deeply ingrained in my brain. <laughs> so for today, to kind of get back into the swing of things, I thought I would do a tag that um, Moon Pedri was kind enough to tag me in. Um, this is the fantasy writers tag. It was originally done by Lynn. I will link both her and Moon Pedri below. And this tag is just exactly what it sounds like for people who write fantasy. So um, without any ado, let's just get into it. Or further ado. See, my brain is not awake yet. Uh, um, so let's just jump right into it. So once upon a time, this is your introduction. What fantasy projects are you working on? Um, currently, I am working on uh, my debut novel, Coexist Division, which is a first of, I'm hope, hopefully, many books, but at minimum three, um, taking place in my own personal fantasy world, um, the world of the Natu, which is a race I have created. And I'm hoping that um, you guys will enjoy the little previews and snippets that I can give you to introduce you to it. Um, it is essentially um, following a group of children from various different races that come together when they realize that the world and history that they think they know is not true and that it is in fact an elaborate lie on top of everything else. But how do you get to the truth of the matter when the races of your world do not even talk to each other? <laughs> that is the uh, crux of my work. Um, I'm hoping that besides the trilogy I can also write additional books within the same world because I love to introduce different creatures, different ideas, religions, magic. Um, there's actually three magic systems within my world, and I'm hoping that I can explore them in further depth for you guys with further books. All right, the fellowship of your writing community. So who has been your strongest support in your writing journey? That would definitely have to be my husband. Um, he is always there to be supportive and to lend me advice and to encourage me. Um, actually, just last night, he um, took my phone from me, brought me a drink and said, I'm not gonna bug you for about an hour, an hour and a half, right? And he did all this with a very horribly fake German accent and it was amazing. <laughs> so he is always there for me to lean on and to get support from. And he's also a pretty big history buff. So if I have questions about how societies work, how um, empires rise and fall, things of that nature, he is always grateful to help me with that. And he actually had quite some input in some of the ideas that end up in my novel. So thank you, Javi. Right, the journey to Mordor. What has been the biggest obstacle in your writing? Well, I mean, honestly, it's just the fact that I do have to work a 40 hour a week job. <laughs> um, so that leaves limited time to work on writing on some days. Um, occasionally you will get um, a burst of some writer's block. Um, I know some people think it doesn't exist. I'm not one of them. I totally believe it exists. So occasionally I'll have to find ways around that, usually by taking a break. Usually I hit writer's block when I've been too busy or I've been working too hard. So that for the most part is my biggest obstacle. Um, I'm not so, not so much the story itself. I pretty much have the overall story planned out. The character's pretty well planned out. It's just getting it on paper. <laughs> okay. 
right, the fellowship of your writing community. So who has been your strongest support in your writing journey? That would definitely have to be my husband. Um, he is always there to be supportive and to lend me advice and to encourage me. Um, actually, just last night, he um, took my phone from me, brought me a drink and said, I'm not going to bug you for about an hour, an hour and a half. Right. And he did all this with a very horribly fake German accent. And it was amazing. <laughs> so he is always there for me to lean on and to get support from. And he's also a pretty big history buff. So if I have questions about how societies work, how um, empires rise and fall, things of that nature, he is always grateful to help me with that. And he actually had quite some input in some of the ideas that end up in my novel. So thank you, Javi. Right, the journey to Mordor. What has been the biggest obstacle in your writing? Well, I mean, honestly, it's just the fact that I do have to work a 40 hour a week job. <laughs> um, so that leaves limited time to work on writing on some days. Um, occasionally you will get um, a burst of some writer's block. Um, I know some people think it doesn't exist. I'm not one of them. I totally believe it exists. So occasionally I'll have to find ways around that, usually by taking a break. Usually I hit writer's block when I've been too busy or I've been working too hard. So that for the most part is my biggest obstacle. Um, I'm not so, not so much the story itself. I pretty much have the overall story planned out. The character's pretty well planned out. It's just getting it on paper. <laughs> right, the journey to Mordor. What has been the biggest obstacle in your writing? Well, I mean, honestly, it's just the fact that I do have to work a 40 hour a week job. <laughs> um, so that leaves limited time to work on writing on some days. Um, Occasionally you will get um, a burst of some writer's block. Um, I know some people think it doesn't exist. I'm not one of them. I totally believe it exists. So occasionally I'll have to find ways around that, usually by taking a break. Usually I hit writer's block when I've been too busy or I've been working too hard. So that for the most part is my biggest obstacle. Um, I'm not so, not so much the story itself. I pretty much have the overall story planned out. The character's pretty well planned out. It's just getting it on paper. <laughs> Next one, how to train your dragon. Mythical creatures. What are some mythical creatures you want to see more in fantasy? Um, is it safe to say that for race, I want to see more of the dwarves? Um, my stone men are actually, they're influenced by Tolkien's dwarves, but then they kind of took off in their own direction. Um, but if we're talking just creatures, um, I have always been a huge fan of unicorns. When I was a little girl, that I was all over. I used to have a unicorn collection of like snow globes and statues. And I think, shoot, I started in 1990 and I think I finally stopped in like 2010 or something like that. <laughs> um, but I wanna see different types of unicorns. Usually, um, we see the um, traditional Western type, which is um, the slender body with a horn, or um, sometimes you'll see the more traditional form, which has the lion's tail and the deer body and things like that. But there's also the Chinese unicorn, and I'd like to see sentient unicorns. There are sentient unicorns in my work, um, and they are not the pure, helpful creatures that you usually see. They're actually kind of arrogant. And, I like to play with that because that's always fun. <laughs> what mythical creatures do your MCs encounter? Um, it's safer to say who they don't encounter, and I don't want to give away spoilers to later parts of the book that are important, but I can say um, they do encounter fawns, they encounter um, griffins, they encounter unicorns. Um, I think the centaurs are probably the most interesting, at least to me, um, because they have a very developed to society, but there are different factions of them. So each one has similarities, but they're also very different. And they inhabit a part of the world, um, the Burnt Plains actually, that is typically considered to be uninhabitable. But these people have not only made a life there, but they have made a very good life there. So I love to have them interact with people that are coming from a completely different landscape. That's always a lot of fun. Game of Thrones, winter is coming. <laughs> what season does your um, 
work take place in um, primarily spring. Um, I'd say early to mid spring, and by the time the story is done and over, it's probably near the end of the summer, something along those lines. Um, spring is actually my favorite season. Um, I live in Arizona, so spring is when our weather is the best. <laughs> um, it's not hot, it's not cold. Um, and I just, I love changing seasons, particularly in spring when there's flowers blooming and things like that. So I love to put that in my stories. So you'll, you'll usually see a lot of rain in my stories. I love rain. I love spring rain. Um, but you'll also see uh, references to different plants that are blooming, things like that, because that's stuff that I like. So it pops up. <laughs> I drink and I know things. I love that line. That is such a great line. <laughs> um, what is your favorite drink to have while writing? Um, I always have to have some kind of caffeinated drink, um, but I am not a coffee drinker. Um, I actually cannot stand coffee. Um, it just does not taste right to me. I think it tastes horrible. So I will usually have sweet tea. I'm originally from the South. You cannot take that out of me. Um, so my version of sweet tea is more like, would you like some tea with your sugar? Um, I also like soda, particularly Dr. Pepper is one of my favorites. Um, my all-time favorite, though, is Cheerwine, which is a cherry-flavored soda that, as far as I know, is very hard to get west of the Mississippi. Um, but luckily, uh, BevMo out here does carry it. But it's not cheap, so I don't have it all the time. So I try to save that for when I'm doing a, a special scene or something that I really want to focus a lot on. So I'll probably be drinking my Cheerwine when I'm doing my climax. <laughs> As You Wish from The Prince's Bride, which is not only a great movie, that is also a great book. If you guys have not read the book, please go read it. Um, if you could have one afternoon with any fantasy writer, who would you pick? Um, this should come as a surprise to no one but Tolkien. Um, I would love to just sit down and discuss things with Tolkien. He was not only a, a great writer, but he was a linguist, um, and I've always been fascinated by languages. So I would love to just sit and discuss with him um, his ideas about language, because he actually built Middle Earth around the language, not the other way around. And you can pretty t you can pretty much tell by the way that he has developed the cultures and the way they interact with each other. And I would just love to be able to sit and just hear his thoughts on on things. Um, I mean, him and Lewis are very strong influences on my writing, but definitely more Tolkien. Um, I do like Lewis, but um, I just think Tolkien's world is more fascinating to me. And I think it's because of the background to it. Um, being a therapist, psychology is the background to a lot of my stuff. So I'd love to discuss with someone who also had a similar type of background, um, being that of a love of languages. All right, guys, so that is the fantasy writer's tag. Um, I have, I am still picking up a, a couple of different folks on AuthorTube. I'm still expanding my small little channel. So anyone who's seeing this who writes, I'm officially tagging you. <laughs> um, if you write fantasy, definitely see about doing this tag. It's a lot of fun. And I like it because it makes it makes you think. And it's, and it's fun to discuss things that we love with and share it with other people that love the same thing. So, like I said, now that my husband is recovering, hopefully I will be back on schedule with a video per week for you guys. We will be digging some more into some world building and some psychology again. Um, because, like I said, that is the root of, of my world. So I'd like to share it with you guys. Um, until then, um, hope you guys take care and I will see you next time.